afternoon. Today I'm going to tell you a story called Old One-Eye. This story comes from the Appalachian Mountains, where a lot of people's forefathers came from Scotland and Ireland. They brought this form of tale that was called a jump tale, and you'll see why. This is for 6th to 7th graders. Old One-Eye. Well, I heard tell of an old woman who lived by herself in a cabin up near Mount Mitchell. Now this old woman had the habit of going every once in a while and buying herself a long, big old dried fish. And she would hang this fish up next to her fireplace. And whenever she would get hungry, she'd go over, take her knife, cut a chunk out of it, pop it in her mouth, and eat it. Well, she also had the habit of naming the fish, and this one she called Old One-Eye. In addition, she kept her money in a group of coffee cans that she kept lined up across the mantelpiece of her fireplace. Now, this almost got her into trouble one night. A group of rogues were traveling through the area, and they heard tell of the old woman and her money up alone in the cabin. They thought they'd go up one evening and see if they could steal it. Now the leader of the rogues, his name was Old One-Eye. The rogues hiked up to the cabin and Old One-Eye told his first rogue to go take a look through the knot hole near the fireplace and tell him what he could see. And the first rogue said, well, I just see an old woman. She's sitting in her rocking chair. She's carding wool. That's about it. But as he kept watching, he saw her put aside her carding, get up from her rocking chair and take a big stretch, pick up her knife, and seem to look straight at him. She said, well, my first card's done. When I'm done with the third card, I'm going to come over and take a bite of you. At this, the rogue howled. He jumped up and ran away so quickly that there wasn't even time to say goodbye. Old One-Eye said, what's up with this? So he sent his second rogue to look through the knot hole. The second rogue went over to the knot hole near the fireplace, peered through the knot hole, and said, well, all I can see is an old woman carding wool. But as he watched longer, he saw her put down her carding, get up from her rocking chair and make a big stretch, pick up her knife from the table and say, well, my second card is done. When I finish the third card, I'm going to come over and take a big bite of you. At this, the second rogue howled, jumped up, and ran away without even saying goodbye. Old One-Eye was left by himself. So he went over and looked through the knot hole to see what he could see. He too saw the old lady sitting in her rocking chair, carding wool. After a while, she put down her work she got up, made a big stretch, picked up her knife, and said, Well, the third card is done. So now I'm going to come over and take a bite of you, Old One-Eye. And she started toward him. At that, Old One-Eye shrieked. He jumped up and he ran away from there so fast, they said he didn't even stop when he got to the road, and he hasn't been seen since. Now, the question is, did the old woman know anyone was out there? The locals say she never did know what those sounds were outside her cabin that night. Maybe just the shrieking of the wind. But what do you think? So, now do you know what a jump tail is?